Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I've been going through something and thought I'd make a video on it because if I had this information like a year or two ago, I would have been super stoked and not where I am right now. So I thought I'd make a quick video. Maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll help you uh, in the future or maybe you're going through this right now yourself. But H22 timing can be a little bit weird. It's a little bit touchy. Um, I've, had a, I've had somebody work in my car about six years ago and he... Got it. He got the car to run good. It's been a, a champ. I've been tuning it and beating the shit out of the car for years now. And only about a year ago, it started giving me issues. The belt started walking and, uh, you know, making noises and stuff like that. So, so I been digging, digging pretty deep in it. Um, one reason why I haven't made a video in a long time is because I started a new job at a Honda dealership as a tech. So I've been focusing on that. I'm also renting a new house. So I've been focusing on my money and just keeping things in check, you know. But now I'm finally able to work on my Prelude, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you some stuff. I have some paperwork and some diagrams that I, uh, that I got at Honda. It, working there is a huge benefit to somebody like me because I'm absolutely obsessed with Hondas. And I don't like people to work on my cars. So I'm going to... All right, it's starting to rain, so we'll jump right into it. Thought about making this video after I had everything apart, so won't be able to show you what it looked like with the belt on, but you can see right here, it was rubbing pretty bad. It was making some sketchy noises uh, about a year ago, so I tried to redo it, and then after I redid it, I, I just could never get the belt placement right, and the belt always rode super weird. Always made noises and stuff, so I kind of stopped driving the car for the last year. And uh, decided to take it apart and figure out what's wrong. And I figured it out. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick. Um, my buddy was looking at my, my parts and he noticed I didn't have this. So all this time for like six years, making 230 horsepower, never once have I ever had that spacer. That's super sketchy. Um, so yeah, long story short, definitely want this spacer. Sorry. Definitely want this spacer. Um, like pretty much every video does not point that out might be obvious to some people but um, if it's just not there and you buy a new pulley they also don't come with them so if you don't already have one and you buy a new pulley how are you supposed to know that you need that but uh hopefully i helped you guys um if i had this video two years ago it would have helped me a lot um i also have this diagram from honda so there you go Got all the parts with the numbers next to it, and the numbers correlate to the part numbers. If you need to pause to see, you can do that. So, yeah, it's crazy how simple little stuff uh, can throw you in for a loop. Uh, for my case, like a couple years almost. Could never figure out why my belt was blocking weird. Um, like, even a professional that rebuilt my head couldn't figure it out. But yeah, got to have this little guy right there. All right. A couple days later, got the timing assembly all together. Pretty happy with the belt. It's not too tight, not too loose. Everything's in a good area. I um, was really struggling with getting the belt in the right spot. But now since I have that little spacer on there, you can see that the belt isn't like hanging off anymore and that it's not touching anything. So I'm very happy with that. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to rip. So hopefully I touched on something that maybe you missed or maybe I gave you a little bit of information you needed. Uh, this shit can be tough, you know. So like I said earlier in the video, if I had this information like two years ago, it would have been a huge help. So uh, hopefully I helped you. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one.